the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. Welcome, my dear sisters and brothers, your own homes, as you join me in this Eucharist, praising, thanking God, and praying to him for all those affected by the coronavirus, uh, infection and also for those who are helping people. I invite you this, during this Mass to pray especially for the caregivers, so many doctors, nurses, government authorities coordinating the whole program, uh, the health workers and so many people who are going out of their way to make things easier for us, to make things good for us. We pray for them in a special way. And so we begin this Eucharist once again, conscious of God's presence among us in the tabernacle here, in your own homes. And we ask God to forgive us our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You come to make all things new, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Your almighty God have mercy on us. May you forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will, that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Can you sit? A reading from the book of Numbers. The Israelites left Mount Hor by the road to the Sea of Suf, to skirt the land of Edom. On the way, the people lost patience. They spoke against God and against Moses. Why did you bring us out of Egypt to die in this wilderness? For there is neither bread nor water here. We are sick of this unsatisfying food. At this, God sent fiery serpents among the people. Their bite brought death to many in Israel. The people came and said to Moses, We have sinned by speaking against the Lord and against you. Intercede for us with the Lord to save us from these serpents. Moses interceded for the people, and the Lord answered him, Make a fiery serpent, and put it on a standard. If anyone is bitten and looks at it, he shall live. So Moses fashioned a brown serpent, which he put on a standard. And if anyone was bitten by a serpent, he looked at the bronze serpent and lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. A response to God's word. O Lord, listen to my prayer and let my cry for help reach you. Together. O Lord, listen to my prayer and let my cry for help reach you. O Lord, listen to my prayer 
and let my cry for help reach you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Turn your ear towards me and answer me quickly when I call. Response, O Lord, listen to my prayer and let my cry for help reach you. The nation shall fear the name of the Lord and all the earth's kings your glory. When the Lord shall build up Zion again and appear in all his glory, then he will turn to the prayers of the helpless. He will not despise their prayers. Response, O Lord, listen to my prayer and let my cry for help reach you. Kindly stand as we prepare to receive Jesus in the gospel. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Together. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you. At that time, Jesus said to the Pharisees, I go away, and you will seek me, and die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. Then said the Jews, will he kill himself, since he says, where I am going, you cannot come? Jesus said to them, you are from below, I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins, for you will die in your sins unless you believe that I am he. They said to him, who are you? Jesus said to them, even what I have told you from the beginning, I have much to say about you and much to judge. But he who sent me is true. And I declare to the world what I have heard from him. They did not understand that he spoke to them of the Father. So Jesus said, when you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am he. That I do nothing on my own authority, but speak thus as the Father taught me. And he who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do what is pleasing to him. As he spoke thus, many believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, my dear people, my dear religious sisters joining me in this Eucharist. In the first reading, we have a continuation of the Jewish people on their journey to the Holy Land. We join them, as it were, in our journey towards the sacred tree doom. And it, when one looks at it, it seems so strange. God had led them by the hand, had chosen Moses to liberate them. And he had worked so many miracles, shown his presence. The Red Sea was divided and they walked across. The firstborn of the rulers of the Egyptians died. And they, these were saved. And yet all of, uh, they forget all this. And as they are 
moving towards the Holy Land through, through a circuitous journey, many, many years. Because they had not good food, they said, they began to grumble against the Lord. Just imagine, so much had been done, and now they said, we have no food over here. The food is not good. And God had fed them, they had water, there was manna from heaven, and they began to grumble. And then, there was this plague of serpents who bit them, poisonous serpents. And then they began to repent and ask the Lord, Lord, uh, we're sorry. We sinned against you. We sinned against Moses. They told Moses, and uh, please help us. And the Lord asked to make a bronze serpent. Those who look at it will be saved. That's what we heard in the first reading. And that really happened. Those who are bitten by these poisonous snakes, poisonous serpents, if they looked at the cross, looked at the bronze serpent, they were saved. And the bronze serpent was a symbol, was a prefigurement of the cross of Jesus. In the gospel passage, again, Jesus says, when I am lifted up, you will know that I am he. Again, it strikes me often, uh, but perhaps that's only looking at it in hindsight, that so often Jesus prepared his apostles and disciples for his passion, death, and, and resurrection. He said, I will rise on the third day. He's, we find that so often in the evangelists several times. But yet when it actually happened, they were all confused. When they looked at the bronze serpent, they were saved. We have the cross, the reality, not just the figure of the cross, the, the reality of the cross which liberated the world. I was thinking that today the whole world, all of us, every country, including us in India, are confused, frightened, anxious, tense because of the coronavirus pandemic. And we come to the Lord saying, please help us. The Holy Father had a beautiful prayer service the other day, last Friday, when he prayed to God and also guided us in our own prayer and blessed the whole world with the monsters, with the Eucharist. And so we turn to the Lord for everything today. We have more time now because we're at home. And as the bronze serpent was to them a liberating instrument, we have the cross, the crucifix as a liberating instrument. We turn to the Lord in our moment of distress, asking the Lord to bless us, the Lord to bless all the victims the caregivers for whom we are praying especially, all those organizing this, those who are affected in different ways. We pray to the cross, deepening our faith. These moments, sometimes of uh, crisis and pain, make us to sit down, reflect, and then once again come back to the right path. We pray that the coronavirus might be controlled. We pray that effective remedies be sought against it and be found against it. We pray that we turn back to the Lord once again. That's what Lent tells us. Return to me, repent and believe in the gospel. I think that this crisis is a compelling message from God. Turn to me, have faith in me. God of all creation, to your goodness for this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
mystery of this water and wine, we will come to share in his divinity, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. To your goodness we have this wine which we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Receive the sacrifice which we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my sins and cleanse me from my iniquity. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed the author of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death and, and, and claim your, your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray 
that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, to you, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be all glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, Jesus taught us to call God our Father. So indeed he is. We pray to him with faith, love, and trust. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. This offer you the sign of peace. May Christ's peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the smingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us. Receive him. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, word and I shall be healed. healed. spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O divine guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you 
for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who choose to show mercy, not anger, to those who hope in you, Grant that your faithful may weep, as they should, for the evil that they have done, and so merit the grace of your consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Masina, let's go in peace to love and to serve the Lord and his people. Thanks be to God. Have a nice day. We pray now for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.